Okay. What's yeah. up, Rasmus? Going home? Finally going home. Yeah. So please, could you take all on your your socks? I'll try it. <laughs> you try. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor old guy. Should I help you? Let's take it all from the beginning. Uh, so on the 15th of uh, February, I was uh, I was hit by a van uh, on a on a bike on a bike ride uh, on Fuerteventura, um, and I I smashed into the van. Um, you know, it was crossing the road, and um, smashed to the side of the van with my with my right shoulder, um, and 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 the side. I always I'm always nervous when he's out on the road. I must say. Um, we, we have an agreement that I can follow him on, on the phone as friends on the iPhone. So I always take a look every once in a while and see that the little point has moved to another point on the road. So I see that he's still riding and so on. So suddenly, you know, um, um, a vehicle, um, you know, an opposing vehicle just, you know, suddenly uh, turned uh, onto my side of the road, so there was basically nothing that I that I could do about it. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, of course, it, it hurt really much at uh, at that point. But uh, I, I can still remember my first reaction was like, "Oh fuck, is this session ruined? <laughs> Will I be able to?" Because I had only done like forty five minutes out of a five hour ride, and I was like, "Oh my god, am I going to be able to finish this uh, this five hour ride?" But but it, I'm, it, it it yeah quite quickly it occurred to me that yeah no, no that's not going to be possible. <laughs> Tell me about yeah, when he came. He was, he went, the driver of the truck uh, of the van he was he was quite nice. I didn't speak to him too much, but my friend uh, Gabriel who was with me on the bike ride he spoke to him quite much and, and he was really friendly and helpful and, and called nine one one as as soon as um, yeah d straight after the accident. And then, uh, you know, a few minutes afterwards, he came came up to me and said, like, you know, I'm so sorry, like, it was totally my fault and everything like that. And I was like, yeah, you know, it happens. <laughs> no worries, man. <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't know if I would have responded that way if I knew how serious everything was. Because I, I, I realized quite quickly, actually, that, you know, the collarbone was off because I felt, you know, I couldn't use my arm and... Um, and uh, something was, um, you know, pointing out here. So, so I, I realized that, you know, either it's a um, um, luxated um, shoulder, or it's uh, or it's the collarbone, or it's both. Uh, but but uh, uh, both of those injuries are quite harmless, actually, uh, and then quite standard in in cycling roads. Um, I heard afterwards that you weren't able to. And to continue working throughout the day <laughs> because you were so worried, and that me that that was really moving for me to hear. Um, so yeah, tell me a little bit about that. No, that's that's true. I, I mean, I'm a medical doctor myself, so I have to 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 meet a lot of um, patients um, every day, talk with them and, and understand them, and give a lot of myself. And I just felt that I'm, I'm sort of cut off emotionally right now because I'm so full of worries and stuff like that. I cannot, I cannot do that today. I'm not in the state of doing that. And also, I rather quickly decided that I had to go down and uh, help you get home and and those sort sort, sort of things. Kind of see what's going on here. Hello, buddy. <laughs> so how do you feel? I don't know if I... What's that? Okay. Now I can... Yeah. <laughs> Not very comfortable, right? No. No. What, what it was like, what, what the radiology um, uh, showed was that uh, well, it's a it's a quite heavily dislocated uh, scap scap uh, collarbone fracture, sorry, uh, clavicle fracture, uh, and then um, it's uh, it was actually quite a dislocated 
the scapula fractures or the, the, the fractures of the scapula was actually seven, eight pieces. Uh, and it, um, the, the nature of the injuries um, used to call like a floating shoulder, which is quite serious and always require um, surgical intervention. Final, <laughs> final pre-surgery right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's important not to not to um, get uh, not to be too unfit when you're <laughs> uh, when they're gonna operate on you. Maybe I didn't approve of doing four hours uh, the day before surgery, but okay. So finally, you got some use for your medical. Uh, Physiology. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It was worth uh, education. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the waiting for the surgery, I think you were in quite good spirit and, and you felt pretty good, I think. And you recovered physically, mm -hmm. mentally a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I did some, 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 some pretty good training. Um, some some really good volume on the bike. I think I, I biked 18 and a half hours. It's not that much, but uh, especially towards the the end of the week and uh, the first week I was sort of ramping it up. So like the first day one hour and then one and a half hour, two hours, two and a half hours, and like the last three days I did bike like four or five hours a day, and and I was like, yeah, wow, yeah, I'm really coming back um, <laughs> shape wise, and and the bike is going to. I'm going to get really good on the bike. Uh, I'm just going to get the surgery done now, and then you know probably take like a few days off to uh, to let the the wounds heal, and then I can you know get back on it again. So I was definitely in good spirit and felt uh, and felt hopeful towards St. George. Um, I mean, I, I I realized that you know it was since it was this floating shoulder injury, it will take definitely. A really long time before I can get back into swimming. You know, I, I probably won't be doing basically any swimming before St. George, maybe like one week or two weeks of like light, easy swimming. So the swim will definitely suffer in St. George, but I was like, you know, I can get like an even more, I can get even more monstrous on the bike. You know, I can, you know, I was like, you know, it should be possible to push like 340 watts and still run well off the bike. That was like, that was the mental, you know, and I felt like, you know, if uh, if I can put down like, yeah, I already made up some plans, you know, I'm going to ride like four hours a day, every day, uh, ending up, you know, biking 20, 28 hours a week, I'm going to be like, you know, yeah, indestructible on the bike. So I like, even if I lose like five extra minutes on the, on the, on the swim, doesn't matter, I'm going to take it all, <laughs> take it all back on the bike. Uh, so, so I definitely felt hopeful and um, I went into the surgery, you know, really now just, just let this get, get over with it and uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. And uh, yeah, then I woke up. <laughs> yeah, when you woke up, uh, some of that uh, spirit has, for some reason, <laughs> been drawn away and... Uh, yeah and uh, yeah yeah it was it was shocking actually to to wake up and i was like in agonizing pain uh from, from the minute i i woke up like everything felt so extremely painful in the in the shoulder okay this is the day after operation yeah it was a rough day yesterday yeah, it was insane. Uh, what can you say? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was here and yeah, you were like totally exhausted. Yeah, yeah. So, but fortunately we have stacked up with some real nutrition Yeah. that you are used to at least. <laughs> yeah. All right. I seen the last part of an Ironman. Yeah, right. But this is so far worse than the last part of an Ironman. Yeah, yeah. It's 10 times worse yeah. that I've seen. Yeah, that's gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna feel great, you know, <laughs> during the last part of an Ironman in comparison to this. Yeah. Uh, so 
you you did get get half good uh, information from the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Let's analyze it later. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Yeah, the procedure was a little bit larger yeah, than yeah, it was yeah six hours. So yeah, was, yeah, quite yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, all right. And uh, that was the absolute worst I've seen you in my whole life. And and what's even worse was that it continued for the the full day and almost the full next day as well. So exhausted and so without any energy. That's amazing how a person who is easily goes on full throttle almost for eight hours uh, can be so completely wiped out. Yeah. It's good to see you outside. Yeah, good, uh, good to be out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. More or less, first time you see the sun. Yeah, almost. Almost, yeah. yeah. At least in a conscious state. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So, how do you feel? Yeah, it's it's going forward. Yeah. Even though it's still like, still quite, uh, yeah, quite affected by the pain. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> but I think you know, I mean, I'm trying to look back, and, and then I. I can recognize that things are definitely moving in the right direction. So, for instance, today I haven't taken any strong painkillers, and that's uh, that's a good sign. Yesterday, you know, I wouldn't be able to, to function without without some strong painkillers. Um, so, uh, so it's like it's endurable. I've mm -hmm. only paracetamol today, <laughs> so which is that's not very strong. So, so that that's a good sign. Mm. Uh, but but still, it, it, it's crazy how the body reacted to you know to this procedure. Uh, like I, I felt pretty good, you know, going into the going into the surgery. You know, I've been the last days were actually. I mean, the, the shape on the bike was quite good. I did some really you know really solid sessions. Uh, felt good, felt easy, and then you know I've been feeling so weak, like been feeling sick and like with no energy but but having no like sickness symptoms no like a sore throat or anything like that but uh, yeah so so it really yeah I mean you should definitely respect what 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 the surgeons are doing to you <laughs> right yeah now yeah. we just enjoy gonna enjoy the sun but cool yeah. sunny but cool day and uh, yeah a little walk been been uh, at the favorite uh, coffee shop for lunch yeah that's yeah. small things to uh, appreciate in these moments right yeah, definitely. Definitely. so let's see what's going on So it's a big day today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First ride after surgery. Yeah. Six days. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do something that requires you to do the work. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Guys, you started to become a little bit lazy before, so yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's. Uh, I mean, of course, legs are fresh, so, but the heart rate is <laughs> insane. <laughs> yeah. I feel as strongly as I've ever felt, you know, that I, I love this sport and I love this challenge and this is what I want to do. Um, and I want to get back and I want to get back strong, even stronger. Um, but it's not... I, I'm, it, it's very unrealistic to um, to say that I'm going to be competitive in St. George uh, at this point. And I don't, frankly, I don't really care about that because I, I feel, you know, I'm probably going to have uh, a bunch of other world championships in the, in the future that I can be competitive in. So um, that's not the most important thing. I still feel very strong that I want to race there. I want to race there. And I don't really care about how I'm doing there 
but I want to race there. That's that's how I feel. But I only want to race there if I feel that I can race there um, in a safe way for the future. Um, and I'm not willing to take any risks in that in that regard. But I'm definitely a, I'm definitely you know ready to to compromise on like you know you take it. You have to take it really slow on the swim, for instance. Um, you have to you know swim like easy. <laughs> Do you think you can swim at all? Uh, can you use the right arm to swim? I don't know, but 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 I'm open to actually you know do the race with one arm, <laughs> you know, the, the, the only one arm strokes. And that's how badly I want to get to the start line. And as soon as I'm not hurting myself uh, or risk hurting myself, I'm ready to do that because um, that it, it's so much fun and uh, that's what I live for. Uh, so I think that would that would be a victory uh, if, if I get there. So the journey that we have um, booked and paid for and so on, it's not... Uh, Cancelled? No, it's definitely not cancelled. Yeah, uh, definitely not cancelled. So, so we'll see. I mean, may maybe it's not possible to do it in a in a safe way, and then then I'll I'll not do it. But uh, my hope is still that I I, I think it's definitely doable. And um, say so I really felt you know how quickly my my body started to to heal during the first two weeks before the operation. And then, you know, it was a big bump back, <laughs> to say the least, uh, with the surgery. But, but I think, you know, um, history has shown that, like, athletes um, like, like me and, and uh, uh, you know, been, been in a similar situation, they have been able to bounce back quicker than any, any of the doctors have ever predicted. So, so I think um, as long as you stay along a safe path, um, you shouldn't close any doors.